Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a great Monday. Right now, I am killing Kurasks in the Relica Slayer dungeon. Now, I know you guys are probably like, oh, you can kill them in Palnivni Slayer well, and you can use a Steel Titan, and you can use a cannon to make them aggro at you, but it doesn't hurt them. Yes, I know all of these things. I just switch from place to place because I am superstitious, so if I don't get the Kurask head in one location, I switch to another one in a certain amount of kills. How I'm tracking it is each Kurask drops a regular bone, which gives 4.5 prayer XP, and I'm using a bone crusher here, and I'm keeping a little prayer counter over here, and that's how many I kill if you divide it by 4.5. So I've killed almost 1,000 Karasks, and I haven't gotten the head. Now you're probably asking why am I going for these Slayer heads. I don't really know, to be honest. It's just a fun little mini goal I set out for myself. I kind of wanted to collect all the heads for a long time now, and I have the Crawling Hand, the Cockatrice head, the Basilisk head, and the King Black Dragon heads. So all I need is the Karask, the Abyssal Demon, and the Calphite Queen. So hopefully I'll be able to get those soon. But I was live streaming this the other day, and I was talking to you guys, and you guys seem to enjoy that. If you didn't get to catch my live stream, or you want to follow my Twitch account or whatever like that, I'll link it in the description so you can follow that, so you know it's the real me, and you know when I'm actually live streaming, because I'm going to start doing that again. I used to do that back in the day, and then I kind of just like fell off of it, because I got a new computer, and I didn't have the software for it, and I forgot my password and stuff. So, yeah, so that's what I did. I started a new Twitch account and I started live streaming again so it was fun I had a great time I had about I think the max 200 people and it was really awesome so I'm really glad that I was able to live stream and you guys enjoyed it so hopefully I'll get more viewers next one hopefully you guys will be more aware that I'm live streaming I know it was the first time so I wasn't expecting a lot of viewers but it was pretty cool to get 200 right off the bat and I really appreciate anyone who tuned in so anyway I'm trying to get these Slayer heads once again if you don't know what the Slayer heads are you can put them in your player own house you can Make them as a pet from Soul Wars. If you use your zeal, you can turn your head and the zeal into a pet. So that's pretty cool. But I'm just going to keep them in my bank because I don't know if they'll ever make masks out of them or they'll have a future use, but I just want to collect all the heads. If I get any extra ones, I'll probably turn them into pets. But right now, I'm just going to keep them in my bank. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, I'm having fun with it. It's actually a fun little goal. It really does suck camping at all these like terrible monsters. Kind of like, you know, I killed 5,000 cockatrices and 2,000 basilisks. And I'm on a thousand caress now, so it's kind of random killing these things. But you know what? It's pretty fun, especially, I mean, I guess that's what completionist cave people do. But anyways, on to the story. Now, this is a story that kind of just, it's kind of a little lesson, and it's pretty funny as well. But let's start off with, I'm not a really big fan of heights, okay? I'm not really afraid of heights, but I don't like the fact of being so high that when you look down, you may fall over a ledge. Let's just say, you know, you may fall over a ledge. So... That's what I don't like. I don't like that kind of feeling. So I'm not really a big fan of heights. I don't like not being able to control, you know, being on the ground. Okay, so I don't really like heights. I don't. I wouldn't go skydiving. I wouldn't go bungee jumping. Uh, I don't like riding roller coasters. And you guys are probably like, oh, he doesn't like riding roller coasters. He's nuts. Oh my God, has he ever tried one? And that is what my story is. My first time ever riding a roller coaster. Now, I used to be the kid who goes to fairs with my family or with my friends. And we would go to fairs and we would go to amusement parks. And they would always be the carnival games. You know, you had ski ball and you had, you know, the game where you throw darts at shit. And that's why I'm really good, like at all those kind of games, and I'm really bad at riding roller coasters, because my friends would be like, oh, we gotta go on the, we'll just say, you know, the Screamer, we'll call the roller coaster the Screamer, oh, man, we're going on the Screamer, Lee, you gotta come, it's gonna be awesome, and I was always like, yeah, man, I will, uh, I'll take a seat, and I'll, uh, I'll watch you guys do that, well, you know, I'll film it, and I'll put it on YouTube, or, you know, I'll just go play some skee-ball, and they're like, oh, man, you suck, I hate you, why don't you ride roller coasters, and I'm like, yeah, man, I just, I just don't like them, meanwhile, I never even rode one. And I was just not afraid of heights, and I didn't want to tell my friends I was afraid of heights, and they'd be like, oh, you pussy, ha huh? So anyway, I just didn't ride roller coasters ever. And it was my senior trip, and I was like, you know what, for my senior trip, we were going down to uh, Washington, D.C., and we were going to Bush Gardens. And if you guys don't know what Bush Gardens is, it's like an amusement park, it's kind of like a Six Flags, it's, uh, I don't really know, you know, many references I can say about amusement parks I haven't really been around the world so I can't really like say oh it's this kind of thing for you guys but it's just like a typical place where you ride roller coasters and play games and such so Bush Gardens was my senior trip I mean we had some other things but Bush Gardens was like a full day thing like a full day event and I said you know what I told my friend Taco and that's not his real name that's just his nickname I told my friend Taco and I was like you know what, I'm going to ride my first roller coaster on this trip because we were in the same kind of group for senior trip and we were in the same hotel room so 
we said, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna ride my first roller coaster, and he doesn't like roller coasters either, so he's like, you know what, I will too. So, you know, we, as a group, it was me, my friend Taco, and two other friends, and we decided to go on, you know, a roller coaster in, in Busch Gardens. So, we get on the roller coaster, and I'm like, oh god, this is crazy, this is ridiculous, oh my god, I'm, you know, freaking, this is nuts, I, I can't believe I'm doing this, and my friend's like, Lee, the ride hasn't even started yet, and I'm like, oh man, crap, uh, shit. So I was just really like agonizing the, the feeling of actually getting up there. And I will still not to this day go on like a loop de loop roller coaster. I don't know if you guys ever seen those, but there's like roller coasters that like, you know, loop de loop, spin backwards, put you in reverse, actually project you out of the roller coaster and then suck you back in. Uh, that's not real, but if, you know, God forbid if that was real, people would die. Anyways. I would not go on any of those crazy things. I mean, I've seen some crazy, you know, roller coasters. There's just nasty ones all over the world. And they're probably fun as hell if you really enjoy roller coasters. But that's not my cup of coffee, okay? That's not what I like to do. And it's fun watching people, like, you know, throw up on the rides and come off the rides like, oh my god, this was terrible. You know, it's just funny to laugh at that, you know, that kind of situation. And I've actually filmed my friend on a roller coaster, you know, this really scary roller coaster. And, uh,. It's just something that I'm not interested in. I'm not a big fan of heights, like I said, and I'm not a big fan of roller coasters. But I had to try it because if you don't try something, how do you know if you're going to like it or not? So I had to try something. And I, I used to be like, I'm going to reference back to something else. I used to be a very finicky eater and I wouldn't eat you know, certain things. I would only eat like chicken, like chicken nuggets and stuff. And then as I got older, I tried a bunch of other food stuff. Like my parents would always be like, oh, Lee, try this. I was like, nah, fuck that. You know, I don't want to eat that shit. Like that vegetables, <laughs> get out of here. So I was like, you know, never wanted to really expand my horizons with food. But then as I got older, I would eat everything that's out for dinner or everything that anyone makes, you know, like Thanksgiving dinner, you know, you know that you got that family member that always makes spinach. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try some spinach this time. I tried some spinach. It wasn't bad. You know, so I was just, you know, trying everything. And you really don't know if you like something until you try it. And you can't really, you know, bash something until you try it. That's why I always say, like, don't bash a video game unless you've played it before. Don't bash a food unless you've tried it before. Because you really can't make an accusation about something if you've never tried it before or never experienced that. So, I was deciding to go on my first roller coaster ride. Like I said, I got on the ride, I was freaking out, and then my friend told me it didn't even start yet. And uh, I closed my eyes through the whole thing, but I went on my first roller coaster ride. And it wasn't a crazy one, it wasn't one of those loop-de-loop -loop ones, like I said, because it would scare the shit out of me. I feel like when we go up the loop de loop, I'm just gonna fucking fall out, bash my head on the fucking roller coaster like beam. I'm gonna just crack my head open. I'm gonna fall to the ground. I'm gonna die before I even hit the ground. And you know, I'm I'm a fan of life, so I really don't want that to happen. So anyway, we get on this roller coaster and it finally starts up, and we're going. And I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm watching it at first because you know, you the first stage of a roller coaster, you're like, okay, this isn't so bad. We're just moving very slowly and we're kind of ascending up a, you know, what visually is a mountain so i was like okay we're just going you know i'm, I'm just watching it kind of and then we're going up and up and up and i'm like fuck man this is getting worse and worse every single second and my friend's right next to me taco who never rides roller coasters either and you know we're just like holy shit what did we just do like what did we just get on are we like are, are we gonna die like what's going on we have no idea what's going on and uh you know we finally get to a point where we're like stop for like 0. 0.2 seconds and we just look at each other and we're like it was nice to know you and I, I just closed my eyes for the rest of the trip, you know, the rest of the roller coaster. And we just started going fucking ham. We just went down the thing. We went like this giant turn. We're going up again. We're dropping again. We're doing, doing all this crazy shit. I mean, obviously, we didn't do loop-de-loops because I wouldn't get on those rides. But we were doing all this crazy shit, and we're going out of control. And I have my eyes closed. I have no idea what's going on. I feel like Superman. You know, it was ridiculous. And I finally got off the ride, and I was like, wow, I do not know if I like that. So I decided to go on one more. So we go on one more, and I actually kept my eyes open for this one. Because, you know what, as you go on in life, I, this is really, really cheesy, and I really hate that I'm saying this, but you do only live once, and I'm not saying that because Drake said it or because it's a cool thing to say in middle school. I'm saying it because you do only live once, and you want to try everything or live life to its fullest while you're here. So you might as well try something that, you know, you won't like. I mean, I'm not trying bungee jumping or stuff because I just don't feel safe with that, or like skydiving, fuck that. But, you know, riding a roller coaster, okay, that's, it's pretty much safe. I mean, they wouldn't make them if they weren't safe. So, and there, there haven't been many roller coaster accidents, I don't think so. I mean, there probably is a few deaths or incidents with it, but for the most part, they're safe. And I decided to try it. And I said, you know what, let me just open my eyes for this one. You know, I'm not falling out. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try my best to just, you know, stay on the roller coaster, stay strapped in. 
and look the whole time and see what I'm experiencing and just feel the rush. And it was actually really, really cool. I kept my eyes open the whole time. We're going fast. I'm making turns. I was laughing at one point. It is fun. I mean, I, I'm not sure if I would like to do it, you know, all the time, but I'm not afraid to actually get on a roller coaster anymore and be like, oh, shit, that shit's, like, scary. I'm not going on those loop de loop shit, so any of my friends who are watching this and they want me to go to a fucking amusement park and me to do the fucking, the, the thing called the Death Taker, I'm not going on that one, okay, because I do not want to go on something like that. I'll go on the, the Baby Unicorn, because that sounds, you know, fairly fun and safe, but I'm not going on the Death Taker, so <laughs> I hope you guys know that, but... Basically, the message of this story is try things. Try something that you may not like or you think that you don't like because you may like it. And you can't knock something or you can't, you know, make fun of something or you can't say you don't like something unless you actually fully try it or, you know, subdue yourself to it. Because if you don't give yourself that chance, you will never know. And you don't want to live life thinking, what if? Or, you know, I never did this because I don't, I don't like it. But you don't really know because you never tried it. So... My kind of like advice to you is go try something you've never tried before, whether it's a food or whether it's an activity or whether it's a roller coaster, whatever it is, go try it. I mean, I'm not telling you to go face your fears in them. You know, I, I, everyone has fears. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big fan of heights, but just try something that you've never tried before, whether it's jaywalking or whether it's, you know, going to kill something else in RuneScape that you've never done before or something that you're not very comfortable with doing or you, you're just scared of something. Go just try a little bit of it. Don't. You know, obviously, like, throw yourself in the water. Like, if you're afraid of spiders, you know, kill a spider. Don't play with tarantulas. Like, that. that's just crazy. Like, do what you want to do, but try something new. Because it really is great when you try something new, and you can actually say to yourself, look what I did. You know, I finally did this, and you can say that you did this, and you can then say that you don't like it. If you don't like something, if you try it, like, say if I really hated the roller coaster ride, I could have went on the roller coaster, came off it, and said, I fucking hated this, I'm never going on this again. But I came off of it saying, that was a different experience, I'm glad I experienced it, and I'll try it again someday. I'll try a different one. Not the Death Taker, but the Baby Unicorn. So, basically, that's all I wanted to stress is, don't knock something until you try it, because you never know. You really don't know. That's why people make fun of World of Warcraft who play RuneScape. Or, and they don't know because they never played it. Or they played it when it was terrible, like in RuneScape Classic or when World of Warcraft first came out. So, just a bunch of references here. Food, games, roller coasters, etc. But try something new. Literally, I mean, you might not like the idea of it, but try something new. Literally, you only live once and you have to live life to its fullest. Once again, don't take on things head on. Don't you know, jump out of a plane if you're scared of heights. Because that probably won't help you. That'll probably just make you shit your pants. But that's my advice to you guys. I know it's not a big motivation like the motivation story time or my bullying story. But I wanted to share this story with you because it's pretty interesting knowing about like a first time you did something. I've experienced a lot of firsts in my life. And my first roller coaster was definitely an experience. It was in 12th grade. That's crazy. It took me about 18 or 17 years to ride my first roller coaster. And I finally did it. So it was a big step and it was a big accomplishment. And I learned a lot from it just saying, you know, like, after I tried different food groups and I tried new things and I took different classes and I rode my first roller coaster, it was a really big experience. It, it felt like you overcome something that you, you never really, you know, thought you could overcome. So it's a really good feeling and I really suggest that you try something that you're not very fond of because you might like it. And if you don't, then you know you don't like it because you will officially know because you've tried it. So anyways, that is all for this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. Uh, I didn't shit myself or cry or throw up on the roller coaster for anyone's information. I just kind of screamed a lot like a little girl, probably a little girl that was in the park and kind of fell down off a slide. Probably that's like kind of range level. I screamed. I don't know. Taco screamed a little bit too. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> but anyways, that's all for the story time. Don't forget to comment below and share your stories of your first either roller coaster ride or any other first you've experienced that you wouldn't normally like. And uh, tell me all about your stories because I'm interested to read them. And I didn't say that in my last story time or my last two story times, but share your stories because when you share your stories, other people read it and they can laugh with you. No one's laughing at you. I mean, I know when I say these stories, I fully share everything with you guys, like my bullying one and all my other stuff. So I know you guys are very supportive of what I do, and I know you guys are supportive of the people who support me. So when people comment, be respectful to them if they comment anything that's, you know, serious or anything like that. But comment your stories. I'd love to read them. I didn't say that on the other ones. I forgot. But comment your stories, and I'd love to read them. 
and don't forget to tell me what I should say for next story time because I do look at all the comments and I do consider all of your topics. I mean, you can message me on Twitter, message me on Facebook, and tell me what you would like to hear on a story time, whether it's a motivational story or it's one of my past things or whatever. I don't know. Just let me know and I will try my best to answer your story time. If it's good, I'll do it. So anyways, that's all, guys. I'm going to go back to killing Kuras and trying to saw off its head. It hasn't worked so far. And uh, that's all. I'll see you guys later. See you, everyone.